Hi there, uh, I'm Ulf at Hoberg Recording Studio. Today I want to show you a little about the cheapest DIY trick I know about. It's more or less just uh, using uh, piezo elements that are a sort of transducer. You can you find them in both old toys, fire alarms, old congratulation cards and stuff like that. It can make um, really loud beeps or you can use it as sort of a contact microphone. Most contact microphones are just built on this sort of technique. You can use them as trigger mics on the drums, which is a lot cheaper than the trigger mics that you can find in the in the shops. The only thing you have to do is solder a cable to it and connect it to your audio interface, uh, either your mic preamp or a line input. Either one will do, I think. In the examples I'm gonna show you, I use the line inputs. So what you can do, you can just tape it to the shells of your drums instead of on the batter skins. Uh, this way you get a little bit more tone. You also don't interfere the sound of the skin as you might do with the regular trigger drums that are like pushed against the skin and then also affect the sound of the drum, which I don't really like. But except for using samples on your drums, uh, you can really use tr triggers for uh, other stuff, like opening your gates, which is really neat because the, the signal you get from the trigger mics are a lot more isolated from the rest of the drum kit. You don't have cymbal bleed and stuff like that. And uh, you just get a direct signal from each, like the snare and toms. And another thing you can use it for, you can actually use the sound you get from it. If you want to enhance the, if you want more attack in the toms, you can just mix in a little of the trigger signal in there. But if you plan to use trigger mics for triggering your drum kit uh, or use samples on your drum kit, I don't see the reason why you should use a real drum kit. You might just as well build your own drum kit from pots and pans or whatever you have at home which could be much more fun than like programming your drums or clicking in just like MIDI notes in your door. Could be more fun to play the drums, right? Record it into your door, put a trigger uh, plugin on it like the Slate uh, Trigger or uh, Dramagog or whatever you want and then just go crazy with it. Other stuff you can do with it, you can also mic up your acoustic guitar. If you have an acoustic guitar that don't have an, uh, an integrated microphone in it, you can just tape the piezo element to the body of the microphone and put it in your audio interface. Uh, just crank up the volume and go. Uh, you get a really good tone out of it and uh, a good signal too. can also be a really good complement for using uh, acoustic microphones. And you could even use it for, uh, for your electric bass. Uh, you can just tape it either to the body or you can tape it to the, to the head of the bass guitar. Um, it could be uh, good to put some pressure on it uh, to get f the full resonance, otherwise you don't get the, the really low bottom end. Uh, don't press it too hard though, because then you will take away all the vibrations and then you don't get a tone at all. If you want to plug your acoustic guitar to your amp and really crank up the distortion, do it. You're gonna get a lot of feedback, but it's totally working. And also if you want to just plug your acoustic guitar into your tuner pedal, and I really encourage you to just experiment with the, with the piezo elements because uh, you can do a lot of stuff with it. I mean, you can um, put it on your throat and use it as, as a throat microphone if you want to do really low growls and stuff like that. I also tried to make a, a cymbal reverb. I taped a, a small speaker to the ride cymbal and then I put the piezo element on the other side. I played some music through the cymbal and um, then you get like the resonance from the cymbal. It sounds like crap but could be useful. Pretty much how a plate reverb works, but a plate reverb obviously sounds a lot better, yeah. So you can just buy those piezo elements either in your ele local electrical shop or uh, somewhere on the internet. I buy some from mauser.com and they cost like half a dollar each or 10 of them for $3. I have some uh, more neat, uh, really cheap DIY uh, projects coming up. So uh, if you want to catch it, just uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to have more stuff like this, please leave comments or suggestions on what I should do. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye bye. Cheers.